Hi, I'm Tova Redmo. I'm a trainee life coach. I'm a single special needs mum and I'm a former project manager in the city. And I'm here today to talk about what is coaching and why do you need it? In this vlog, I'm going to cover a number of topics. I'm going to cover what coaching is. I'm going to cover what coaching is not. Whether you can combine coaching with other things such as therapy. I'm going to look into some of the topics around where I offer coaching. Whether my coaching offer is, is only for special needs mums. Quick answer, no, not only. What if you don't actually know what it is you want to work on? Let's start with what coaching is not. Coaching is not therapy. I am not here to delve into your deepest and darkest childhood memories and dig those up to the surface and make you live through them again. Your past inevitably affects your present, but coaching is much more about finding tools and techniques that help you now and help shape your future. Coaching is not consultancy. A consultant will look at a situation and give advice on what you should do. And that's not what I do as a coach. Instead, as a coach, we work together, me asking you questions so that you can work out in your mind what is the best course of action for me. Because your situation is unique. And what works for me might not work for you. I may suggest things that I have seen working for myself or seen working for others just to give you a wider base to choose from, but I will not tell you this is your one true magical answer. And that's another thing that coaching is not. Coaching is not a one magical solution. It's not you're going to have one session or you're going to have five session and everything will change. Coaching is ongoing work. It is once again all about tools and techniques that you carry with you forevermore and in that way it is absolutely life-changing. You carry with you forevermore and it will help you be resilient and meet life and everything that life throws at you in a different way to perhaps what you're doing now. Coaching is not mentoring. Again a mentor is much more likely to say you should do this, you should try this and coaching is not necessarily easy. Coaching is very simple. Coaching is so simple, but it's not necessarily easy. Mindset management coaching is all about understanding what you're thinking and how those thoughts affect your feelings and how those feelings affect your actions. And then looking at how to make changes where you want to make changes. Really simple. Not easy. It takes a lot of work. And who is doing that work? It's you. You will be doing that work. I can't do it for you. But my job as a coach is to be with you, ask you the questions that will help you discover in your mind which tools are right for you, which techniques are right for you. I will ask questions that help you question your own thought patterns, that help you discover which are the thoughts that serve me and I want to keep, and which are the thoughts that don't serve me and I want to change, and how do I want to change them? And all of this is within you. Do you need a coach? There's so much that can be done with self-coaching. Genuinely, you can, do, you can get really, really far by learning these techniques and working on them by yourself. But if you have no experience doing that work before, working with a coach to guide you can be ever so helpful because you learn as you do. And even if you are experienced doing it, sometimes you can uncover this layer and then you uncover this layer, but you have several more layers underneath and you're stuck here. And it just takes that little bit of a nudge from an outsider's perspective to uncover the next one and the next one. And it's so powerful and so fascinating. I've experienced it myself and I absolutely love it. So tell me if any of these statements sound in any way familiar to you. 
I am so tired, I just don't sleep. My child doesn't sleep, I don't sleep. I am walking around like some constantly exhausted pigeon. <laughs> and I'm literally just functioning from coffee cup to coffee cup. I'm doing things on autopilot because I have no energy left to do anything else. Self-care, what self-care? All of my care goes on my child's needs, on my family's needs, on other people's needs. I have nothing left to give to myself, so don't come anywhere near me with your talk about self-care because you're stressing me out, you've given me another thing that I should do and I will never, never ever be able to get to doing. It never ends and I can't take this anymore. I can't take one more thing. I am so overwhelmed. I'm so stressed out. I can't do it. My partner doesn't understand. My partner has no idea what it is I do day in and day out. My partner doesn't understand our child's needs. Our partner doesn't understand the life that I'm living. My family doesn't understand. I get no help because my family doesn't understand. They keep telling me what they think I should do, but they have no concept of what it is I'm actually dealing with here. I need help, but I don't know who to ask. And I don't know how to ask. I can't keep up. Everything I have goes on my child. My house is a tip, my life is a mess. I can't keep up. Now, if any of those resonate with you, then I know how you feel. <laughs> All of those have resonated with me in the past. Some of them partially still resonate with me, but I have a much better way of managing them now. But I have been there. I have been there and I've clawed myself out of that hole. And I did that with the help of coaching. And I want to say that none of these make you a bad person. None of them makes you a bad mom. This is not a moral issue. You are not a failure for feeling this overwhelm. You have been failed, but you yourself are not a failure. So if there is one thing that I can hopefully give to you to take away right here and right now, it is that. Look at yourself with compassion. Talk to yourself with compassion. Don't beat yourself up because you are doing the absolutely best you can in what is a very, very difficult situation. Coaching can help with all of those things. Mindset management is amazing. Now, if you get mindset management coaching because of your issues around what your family understands or doesn't understand or what your spouse understands or doesn't understand, the coaching that you get will not change them just want to put that out there. And the same with sleep issues. If you get mindset management coaching around sleep issues, it doesn't magically make your child sleep better, but it makes you more capable of dealing with the situations as they are. More capable of accepting the situations, of being in a place where you feel more energized and more empowered to change the situation in a positive way but you can't change other people you definitely can't make a disabled child sleep if your disabled child doesn't sleep trust me <laughs> mine doesn't but you yourself can be in a mindset where those things don't drain you as much and when those things don't drain you as much it is much easier to deal with everything else that comes around I know I mentioned special needs moms. I am a special needs mom. That is the place that I come from. That is my base camp when I go out and I coach people. But of course, I don't just coach special needs moms. I actually coach adults with special needs. I coach moms who haven't got disabled children. I coach people who haven't got children at all because we still, all of us, face these issues around burnout, about around productivity around organization around stress management and the techniques and tools can be adjusted regardless of what your situation is but as i say i am a special needs mom this is my specialty i have 
years of professional experience in the special needs world and I have years of personal motherly experience in the special needs world. So that's where I come from and that's why I target this as special needs mums. But you are very welcome to talk to me if you're not a special needs mum, if you feel that what I offer still resonate with you, if you like my energy, then, then come on in, come and have a chat. So my offer at the moment, whilst I finish my training, I'm currently training at the Clique Academy, which is a school that is accredited by the International Coaching Federation, the ICF. So when I'm finished, I will be an ICF accredited coach. And there are multiple certifications within this school. I have completed one certification. I am in the process of completing another one. So I am not an an experienced coach, I am not an unskilled coach, I am just not a coach finished with my qualification. So at the moment I offer reduced rate coaching practices as I complete my studies. You can get coaching for six weeks or you can get coaching for 12 weeks. And if you are interested in either of those packages of coaching, then please send me an email to tova at parentxp.org. We will arrange a consultation call and you can find out a little bit more about what I offer. You can ask any questions that you have. We can see whether coaching is right for you, whether coaching with me is right for you and take things from there. If you are at this stage already absolutely certain that you want to give this a try, you heard me talk, you like my style, what I'm saying really resonate, why not just jump straight into it and do one session and see how it goes, then you can buy a single session from my web shop on my website parentxp.org forward slash shop and we can just go straight into working together that way. What if you don't know what you want to change? Is coaching right for you if you just have that low level nagging, that sort of simmering in the background worry that you don't have words for, you can't pinpoint where it is, what it is, can coaching help? Yes, because coaching is a journey of exploration and discovery. And we can sit with that feeling for a session or two sessions or three sessions and explore it and see where it comes from. In all likelihood, there isn't just one thing that is bothering you. In all likelihood, it's lots. Lots and lots of little things that put together create this big maelstrom of unease. And through coaching, we can discover what those components are and how you can work on each and every one of them. So even if you don't know, if you just, if, if your brain just says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, we can still definitely work on it because somewhere you actually do know, but it's very comfortable for your brain to say it doesn't. Now I did say at the start of this vlog that coaching is not therapy. Therapy is not coaching. And you might be asking yourself, which one do I need? Do I need therapy? Do I need coaching? Maybe you need both. They're not mutually exclusive. A lot of people have a therapist and a coach. I have tried both. I have tried therapy, at times therapy has been really helpful, at other times it hasn't been. And I have tried coaching and so far in my life coaching has never failed. <laughs> but you can absolutely do both. Or maybe you have tried therapy and it didn't work for you. For whatever reason. My experience, and I'm going to go into this in a lot more detail in a separate vlog, but my experience with therapy that I had fairly recently was that the therapist had no understanding about my situation as a special needs parent. And so the therapy that she was offering was not suitable for me. It actually left me feeling more overwhelmed, more stressed out, more anxious, um, less capable, less resilient, and it just wasn't for me. Whereas coaching, because the techniques we use in coaching are so adaptable to different situations, it just really put me in a place of understanding where my emotions and reactions were coming from and how I could work on them. So personally for me, coaching has been a much better experience than my most recent experience with therapy. But also in the past, I have done cognitive behavioral therapy that absolutely changed my life for the better. 
And whilst coaching and therapy are not the same things, within cognitive behavioural therapy, you are also doing this thing of looking at your thoughts, feelings and your actions and thinking about how you can change around there. So those two are similar, but I am not a qualified therapist. I am a trainee life coach. So to wrap up, I am offering a reduced rate package whilst I'm completing my studies. I do mindset management coaching around issues to do with burnout and overwhelm, around issues to do with sleep, around issues to do with special needs parent relationship issues, whether they be romantic relationships or family relationships, uh, special needs parent self-image and self-love and self-care. St I still don't like the phrase self-care. <laughs> <laughs> as well as techniques that can help you manage depression, anxiety, even symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, which a lot of us do have. I have it from my child's birth. You are so welcome to contact me. We can have a chat about it and see whether what I offer is the right thing for you. And if it isn't, I will honestly tell you and I will do what I can to assist you to discover what other avenues are open for you. So once again, welcome here. It's been really nice talking to you. Have a beautiful day.